What's up, family? Back with a quick video, you guys, talking about uh, child transportation. I get a lot of questions about child transportation. I know I haven't made a lot of videos, but child transportation is the foundation of my transportation business. That's what I started doing. And I added ambulatory on top of that, and now we're adding a wheelchair on top of that. And then later on, maybe next year, I'm going to invest into a stretcher vehicle. So... I started like that. So that was my foundation. Child transportation is totally different from any EMT transportation. As far as how you go about building it, it takes a lot more time and it's not as much money. You have to invest more into child transportation to make more out of it. Uh, another thing, some state check with your state here in North Carolina, you can work with the county. With, uh, kids with disability. I looked into that. A buddy of mine, a friend of mine, had a contract with the schools, in, uh, I think it was Johnson County. Me personally, it didn't seem like it was enough money for me uh, to be able to pay a driver, to handle the overhead, and, uh, and still make some money. It just wasn't enough there for me. So I couldn't do it. Uh, your county could have different prices. Uh, North Carolina, they got two big companies down here. Lucas is one of the big ones. Some of them went out of business. And then there was this one called All American Transportation. I think they come from uh, another state. And they're doing a lot of that down in North Carolina now. They actually get paid by the county to transport kids with disability. That way they won't have to get on a bus and stuff like that. So you can go about it that route, but you have to check it to your county. Me, I deal strictly with parents. Parents pay me out of their pocket. I'm just trying to give a full in depth understanding of child transportation. They pay me out of their pocket to pick their children up from school and to take them home. And there's a lot of ways you can do that. Uh, I just strictly do it that way. I don't do it like a taxi service. You need to go from Valerina practice to back home. Or you got to go from basketball practice, pick my child up, to bring them back home. We did it that route in the beginning, but it was just me and my wife driving. And it stressed, it stressed us out and stretched us out. We were all over the place. So we kind of narrowed it down when we do group. We target Pacific, Pacific schools. These schools are got to be close to each other. So, right now we're in the Wake Forest area. Right, it's about four or five schools up there we service, and two two fifteen passengers could go to those could service all five five of those schools. Uh, we got a lot of kids going to boys and girls clubs, so we might have that bus that one person pick up eight, drop off for the boys and girls club, go back to the school, pick up the second ones at three fifteen, then take everybody home. This year. The person is going to have to go to one school, go to the boys and girls club, go to the second school, pick up the kids, go back to the school to get the 330 kids, pick them up, then take another drop to the boys and girls club, then drop the other seven home. So it, it saves us deadhead miles because we picking up from those, those same schools. That's why I like the evening better. Um, and then we just take the people home. And that's how it usually works out for us. And we charge a weekly rate one way, and then we charge a round trip, round trip rate. Uh, and we give them a little discount on that. Now, when we contract with the schools, when the school, when I say contract. Half a mile, hold on. keep right to continue on State Road 1301. When I say contract, we're vendors for the school. So we don't have a a hundred kids from one school. One school, like right now there's one school, we're, we're transporting. Keep right to continue on State Road 1301. I don't want my GPS. Hold on, it died. Okay, all right. So, one school right now. Continue on State Road 1301 for three quarters of a mile. Has us picking up five kids round trip. Weekly, right? So we picking these five kids up from one place, take them to the school, pick them up in the evening. They're going to be on a bus with all the other kids in the evening, and they're going to get dropped off in the evening. And uh, so a lot of the schools we deal with, with the charter schools, some schools may only have you with three kids that they pay for, and then the rest of them, the parents going to pay out of pocket. 
But this school right here, we always, we usually always transport at least five. So I'm thinking this year we probably gonna have eight with them if the three come back from last year. And uh, so when I say contracted with a school, we're just a vendor for the school. So whenever they had kids that got uh, parents that can't pay for them to, to get to school, they reach out to us. Can y'all put them on your bus route? Or can y'all put them on your schedule? And if we can do it, we can do it. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Little Drive. If we can do it, we can do it. We can't, we can't. Sometimes we can do it, sometimes we can't do it. So we don't have like big contracts with schools. I know sometimes when we say contract, sometimes uh, we could think of it as something super big. But no, we might get five out of one school, three out of one, three out of one. And it is like a contract agreement, some type of agreement. It's not really a contract. You just that you just put them on your insurance. You add them to your uh your general liability policy just in case something happened to one of the children. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh but I hope that got uh help somebody. I'm gonna make a part two to this. I'm looking for this address. I'm down here. I'm down here working. I need to find this address. But I'll make another video on my way back up.